Today, we're diving into a popular post from the Reddit titled as Update IATA for asking my boyfriend to charge his family member for fraud? This post received 38,273 upvotes. Posted by THR0W4W4Y Life. The post reads as follows. Original post https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash amethashole slash comments slash 07 nzcm slash iata underscore for underscore asking underscore my underscore boyfriend underscore to underscore charge underscore his underscore family slash question mark utm underscore source equals share and utm underscore medium equals ios underscore app and utm underscore name equals ios smf update I want to begin by thanking everyone for their advice on my original post. There were some really constructive strategies and words of advice. I spoke with my boyfriend about my concerns and was honest with him that things he was telling me didn't all make sense. He was adamant he didn't know anything about the credit card or the apparent inquiries on his credit account about payday loans. My boyfriend is still refusing to open any fraud investigations against his family member and has said he will pay off the debt himself. But, some other things came out during our conversation that he was hiding from me. Lying has been a big issue of his during our whole relationship. In the past I have forgiven him for his lies but I can't keep forgiving the same issue every few months when he promises to change. But we're in the same spot every few months. And I'm not talking little lies. I'm talking big lies and even bigger lies to cover up those lies. I know I'm stupid for giving him the benefit of the doubt. So in saying this, my boyfriend is now my ex-boyfriend. When I spoke with my boyfriend about my concerns above he ended up picking up his bag and walking out on me and drove away. That was the last time I seen him in person. This is how this man dealt with an issue in our five-year relationship. We haven't spoke much since but I have definitely resigned to the fact my relationship is over. I think he is expecting me to forgive him like all the previous times. I have packed up his stuff and will return to him after my city comes out of our sixth lockdown. There is a good ending to this story though. I spoke with my mortgage broker and the housing developers. I can't afford the original townhouse I fell in love with alone but a smaller townhouse that I also loved came available and I've been approved for this one. I paid my deposit three days before my birthday last month. I bought a house by myself. TLDR. I broke up with my lying boyfriend of five years and celebrated by buying my own house. Edit 1. Oh my gosh guys this update has blown up like I never threw it would. I will try to get around to reading all the comments and messages of received thank you so much for all the well wishes and congratulations. A comment from user astronomer previous 71 says, congrats on your home purchase. Your ex did you a favor. Now you can start fresh. This comment received 8285 up votes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, thank you. Yes that is true. Slightly scary starting again after being in a five-year committed relationship I don't know who I am outside of the relationship rolling on the floor laughing. This reply received 5149 upvotes. A comment from user Blah Witch says, Congratulations. You bought a house and got rid of excess baggage. You will love owning your own space. Literally and metaphorically. This comment received 16863 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. This reply received 6027 upvotes. A comment from user MCDEXX says, I just want to say that you are never stupid for loving someone and trusting them, and wanting them to be their best selves. It is his fault he lied to you, not your fault that you believed him. If he wasn't so dishonest, then your decision to trust would have been fine. It's his lies that made it a bad decision, not yours for trusting him. That whole story about the scorpion and the monkey does not apply to humans, because humans can choose not to sting. This comment received 1014 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Wow 100% true. 
humans can choose not to sting. And yes I'm not responsible for his reaction to my decision to the way he chose to act. This reply received 345 upvotes. A comment from user Final Blade Style says, Good for you. The problem with a liar is that they never quit. You constantly need to keep an eye on them like some kind of child. That's not what you want in a relationship. This comment received 1304 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, 100% I knew things would be iffy and off with things he would tell me and sometimes he forgot what he would tell me and say something different. When I would confront him about things not making sense he would gaslight me and make me think I was imaging things and I would second guess myself. It would drive me nuts. This reply received 769 upvotes. A comment from user Only Zero says, Congratulations on the new house and for realizing that you deserved much better. I'm over the moon for you and I truly wish you all the best xx. This comment received 300 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you so much. A lot of new things and experiences to come. This reply received 137 upvotes. A comment from user Manic Eeyore says, I'm glad you aren't with him anymore. He disappeared but great opportunities have popped up in his place. Take good care of yourself. I'm guessing you are also from the merry old land of madness that is Australia right now. Look after yourself and congrats on the house. This comment received 286 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Live says, Haha ha yes definitely from the merry old land of Aus Tears of Joy I'm one of the lucky Melbournians that are well attuned to lockdown life. Thank you so much. This reply received 225 upvotes. A comment from user BXGirl416 says, Okay, I feel better after reading the last post. I don't know him and am just going by facts you stated. I've got to say, as soon as you said that the loan was denied, Red flags went up. A person who is serious about applying for a mortgage makes sure in the months and years that lead up to this that they have enough savings and that their credit is good. This means paying off any credit card debt and running numerous credit reports to ensure that nothing is amiss. Having said that, as soon as he was denied the loan and it came out that his family member stole his credit card, red flags started to go up for me. In order to have the credit card, that person would need to reapply for credit in his name and have access to his social security number. You can't just find a closed credit card and reopen it. That's not how it works. More likely somebody had access to his documents, like his social security card, and opened this account. However, even then, if that person maxed out the credit card, he would probably find out sooner than later. It just boggles my mind that in two years prior to applying for a mortgage, he never once opened a new credit card or ran a credit check, where he would have found all of this out. What also was a red flag is that he was so adamant about protecting this individual. A normal response to being defrauded or stolen from, especially from a friend or family member, is anger. The emotions don't match the actions. He's so non-confrontational that he's willing to pay thousands of dollars in debt that he didn't rack up, which could take years and just as long to fix his credit. Even if he didn't turn them into the police, he's not willing to even mention it. Yeah, not adding up. You want to know what I think? I think he lied to you. He either lent the family member his credit card and or money and never told you or he's covering up an impulsive shopping, gambling, or alcohol issue. Just too many things in this picture that aren't adding up. Instead of having a conversation about this, he ghosted you. That tells me all I need to know. This comment received 97 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Live says, 100% you're correct about everything I was blinded by the fact I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. And the fact that I loved this man for five years. And at the end of the day there's not much I can do about it and I've already resigned myself to the fact that I'm never gonna get the truth from him. Even if he does tell me the truth I don't even think I'll be able to believe him because I have absolutely no trust left for this man. And yay red flags everywhere. 
I think the lies just kept piling up to cover other lies. This reply received 75 upvotes. A comment from user careless underscore mango says, Congratulations on the new house. And well done on being brave enough to walk away from the relationship. The fact that he is willing to give up his chance of buying a house, taking out a loan to start up his dream business and lose his girlfriend of five years rather than make a family member face up to their criminal behavior and let them just ruin his own life. Well he can never truly be your partner. It was absolutely right you walked away and I wish you luck in finding happiness with someone you deserve. This comment received 164 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Live says, Thank you so much. 100% right. He's made the choice to give up everything we've worked towards our whole relationship just to not cause conflict. He chose a liar and a fraudster over me and our future. So I got rid of him and got my future by myself. This reply received 135 upvotes. A comment from user CMU Pew 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 says, Wait so why is everyone still thinking this known liar who runs away from problems has a family member that spent all that money? Maybe he spent it, is lying about it, and just ignored that debt? AKA there is no made up family member that did this. This comment received 129 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Oh I have suspected that also don't worry. And I have resigned to the fact I will probably never get the truth. This reply received 120 upvotes. A comment from user Wolfie5079 says, Congratulations on buying your new home. I just have to ask though. Does your ex know it's over? I only ask because if he doesn't know and discovers you've just bought a place yourself, he may think he can worm back in and not only have a place to live but also pay off this card. If he knows, then again, congratulations and I wish all the best for you. This comment received 96 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Ha ha yes he knows. I informed him when I took control of our joint bank account and split the funds between us and closed the account so I wasn't tied to him financially anymore. I've worked too hard to get this place and won't let him come back and for me to bankroll his future thanks smiley face. This reply received 200 upvotes. A comment from user DCNauk says, What an amazing update. Congratulations on dropping the X and on buying your house. This comment received 83 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you. This reply received 37 upvotes. A comment from user 1962 Michael says, Congrats. But really wondering, was it him with the spending and gambling problem all along? Seems like refusing to prosecute relative as cover for making up the story to begin with, to cover up his bad habits. This comment received 74 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Live says, That's the conclusion I have come to but I have no proof and I don't have the energy to find out or try to find out as I know I still wouldn't get the full truth as I never have. This reply received 78 upvotes. A comment from user Microeconomic Bunsen says, Sixth lockdown. Fucking Melbourne lol. Congrats. This comment received 54 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Yes we're on number 6. Us Melbournians are getting whiplash every time we're thrown back into a lockdown woman facepalming medium light skin tone. This reply received 47 upvotes. A comment from user Splific says, Imho there's a big chance he spent most himself. Gambling in a pub rings my alarm bells. Gambling addiction destroys people and twists their values. I've been there and I've done that. Getting out of that cycle was one of the hardest things to do for me. This comment received 20 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Live says, Oh 100% I've had that thought but I know I'll never get the whole truth and I am okay with that. I don't have the energy. This reply received 15 upvotes. A comment from user Tree Shaped Heart says, 
Wow! This is a fantastic outcome. I'm sorry about your relationship but you are free from a liar and you can make your life just what you want and need it to be without that awfulness and perpetual uncertainty. Good for you. This comment received 36 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you so much. Yes you're so right. I'm ready to start living life free of the constant second guessing. This reply received 24 upvotes. A comment from user flying with verb says, Congrats on the home, losing the deadweight, and hello, fellow Melbourneian, life is shit right now but you have a lot to look forward to. Partying face. This comment received 33 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you so much. I hope you're going okay in this newest lockdown for us with yet another uncertain end date. This reply received 25 upvotes. A comment from user The Blue Cutlet says, Congrats on your new house, homeowner. This comment received 45 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you. This reply received 24 upvotes. A comment from user Lucky Slevin number says, He's still hiding something. This comment received 15 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Oh I know tears of joy but I don't have the energy to care anymore. This reply received 18 upvotes. A comment from user Mixed with Monet says, This is now in my top 5 IATA updates. Congrats, op. So very happy for you. It is very painful to end a relationship that long where you are thinking your whole future is unfolding within it. But your future is just starting and I have a feeling your new beginning will be the fresh start you need. Wishing you good luck on this new chapter. This comment received 14 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you so much. Yes in the moment and when everything was so raw I felt as if my whole airways crumbling around B. Everything O worked so hard to build and everything I was so looking forward to. But looking back now I know it was all me T to B and everything that happened, happened for a reason. This reply received 21 upvotes. A comment from user Lauren Lilly says, Well done for not taking his shit lying down. And an even bigger well done for buying your own home. What an amazing achievement. This comment received 24 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you so much. I was so over being lied to again and again and for him to keep repeating the same lines over and over, I'm sorry. I'm trying to change. This reply received 28 upvotes. A comment from user Playful Mastodon 872 says, Congrats on your purchase. Also you got rid someone who may pull you down and set you back. If that's how he deals with arguments, you should be happy that he's gone. Colon closing parenthesis dot. This comment received 30 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Exactly. I don't deserve to be walked out on when trying to have an adult conversation because he knew I'd caught him out in a lie he couldn't talk his way out of. This reply received 55 upvotes. A comment from user Tamiralaniaa says, Hi. I work in a fraud department for a credit union and typically when they say they will pay it back instead of filing, that means he did it. Good for you. I'm glad some food came out of this. This comment received 10 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you. Yes I've come around to the fact that this debt was his even though he still hasn't admitted it. Him and I are no longer together and I've purchased a smaller house for and by myself there have been a lot of things he has lied to me about during our five-year relationship. I said enough was enough and called it quits and walked away. This reply received 17 upvotes. A comment from user Searings221 says, Congratulations. The original fraud thing. It really bothered me that he was willing to just throw away his life for someone else's illegal actions. That would honestly give me pause in and of itself regarding continuing a relationship. 
it seems there was more going on anyway. This comment received 20 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, and I still suspect that more is going on but I don't have the energy to find out and I don't think I care anymore either. This reply received 20 upvotes. A comment from user Muskie's fan one says, Congratulations. The most important thing is to never doubt yourself on this. Being away from him is the best thing for you. You are going to have a place you love and a fresh start. That's so amazing. It's tough to come out of a long-term relationship. Seek counseling if you feel it will help. Absolutely nothing wrong with getting a little help to allow you to work through and unpack everything. Also, stay no contact with the ex. If he reaches out, don't respond. This is all his doing. Don't give him the opportunity to try and gaslight you or guilt you more. You just focus on you, your new place, and your new lie-free life. Congrats again. I'm very happy this all worked out for you. This comment received 15 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you so much. Yeah I've gone very 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 minimal contact with him. Only contacting him regarding splitting and closing our joint bank account and him wishing me a happy birthday. I will need to contact him to return his things but then that will be it I think. It hurts that our five years together has come to this but I think it's for the best. Yes I will reach out and seek professional support if I need it. I've just thrown myself into work and have been offered a promotion in the last two weeks. So a lot of things are changing I'm excited for my new life. This reply received 41 upvotes. A comment from user accomplished son 823 says, Congratulations on the new house. I am glad you were brave and broke up with your boyfriend. In my opinion the debt was his and he was lying to you. This comment received 13 upvotes. A reply from the original author THR0W4W4Y Life says, Thank you. Yes I'm convinced I was being lied to the whole time and the debt is his. But I'm at the point that I don't care anymore. I don't care if I get the truth I'm done. This reply received 27 upvotes.